Hey everyone, in this video today, we're going to show you the brand new IO Health app and we're going to do an in depth walkthrough. It's a bit of a longer video, but we wanted to make sure that we didn't miss anything and we've split it into sections. So if you get bored, you can go to whichever section you'd like. So let's get started. So after you've logged in, uh, this is the screen that it's going to take you to. This is the home screen and we're going to just take it from top to bottom quickly right at the top. As per usual, you'll see the settings. And the only thing to note here is the account here. You can plug in all your information uh, for a better user experience and a logout at the bottom. So uh, not a whole lot here, just your standard stuff. Uh, then first thing you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to scan connect and you need the device for this. So let's do this quickly. I have my device in front of me. There we go connected, you're going to see this uh, Bluetooth pairing. This is just for an additional security measure with Bluetooth. You know, a lot of times you'll go into websites now and they'll ask your cookie settings to approve uh, pretty much a similar thing. Now at the front page, the first widget you're going to see is the health score. So this is what, uh, this is how we interpret the HRV. This is just your HRV trend. So it gives you a nice little breakdown of your last five heart rate variability readings uh, on a five star scale. That's how it works uh, here at Komodo. We have a five star uh, scale for the heart rate variability readings. And we'll go into the kind of what it says with the details later. We'll, we'll go into that's uh, that's the history. So we'll do that. The next widget is your latest workout. So you get to choose from a list of events you're going to work out, it's going to save to your home screen. Uh, the next widget is the stress level. And this will have to explain a little bit later because it takes certain events and categorizes them into the stress level formula. So it's not every HRV reading that uh, is uh, taken into, into account when, met, when doing this calculation. And the last one is your sleep. So this is your sleep history. Uh, it'll just show you your total uh, sleep time and the deep sleep percentage. So that's that's kind of what we're seeing on the on the front page. Now at the bottom, uh, these are all the recordings. Okay, so if you are going to want to record any of these things, so heart rate variability, health score, uh, activity mode, or sleep, then that's going to be at the bottom. So the first tab, I guess, is the health mode. And this is where you're going to record HRV and your ECG as well. And that's going to save. Uh, we'll do that right away. Just going to go through the rest of the menu items. The second, the middle one is actually a quick scan. So this is just for convenience. This data isn't saved anywhere. If you just want a quick scan without having to uh, you know, do a whole EKG or, you know, an entire workout to see what your stats are. This is just a nice uh, quick option for you. Then the next one is your activity mode. And this is where you would record your activity, your workouts, any kind of physical activities that you're doing. And uh, we have a nice list of events, which I'll show you once we get to this section as well. And the final is the sleep mode. And this is a sleep analysis and same thing. You would press start, go to sleep and then forget about it. Very convenient. Uh, those are all of the menu items. OK, so now we're back at the home screen and uh, let's go into the health mode. So this is the health mode. This is where you're going to be recording your ECG. So let's take a look at how this looks. I'm just going to set up my device here. OK, here we go. So you're going to want to wait a little bit till it evens out. Uh, we got a pretty clear uh, image here. It's actually OK. Uh, it's going to show you your heart rate and then your running heart rate variability. OK, so while this data is all saving as well, uh, now you're just going to want to hit the HRV button to take that two minute HRV test. Now, here's the unique part. Uh, we have different events, as we call it. So you're going to be able to select what are you doing at the particular moment in time when you're taking the HRV? Because that's very important. 
when looking at the different calculations. And this is when we mentioned the stress level from the beginning. Uh, for the stress level, it's actually only taking certain events into account when making that calculation. Uh, the events are what we deem as mental stressors versus the ones that are physical stressors, right? So the mental ones would be morning readiness, uh, before and after work, uh, before bed, and the physical ones would be, you know, eating, uh, medication, exercise. Those are, you know, physical HRV reactions. So let's take, um, well, let's just do, oh, here's another thing. Under some of them, you'll be able to leave a comment. So if you say after alcohol, you'll be able to type in, you know, what kind of alcohol you drink. Maybe you can see which ones affect you worse and, you know, you make that adjustment. Or let's say after food, you can put in what you ate. Let's say I had some pasta. Okay. And uh, let's hit start. And it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to record your HRV for two minutes? You say, okay. And there you go. So just going to fast forward through this part. So here you have the results. This is what you're going to get at the end of the health score test, the HRV test. It's going to give you a little uh, synopsis. Uh, that's pretty good, actually, for me, 3.25. And once you hit, you can hit done. Make sure when you're leaving this page to so always hit stop. Uh, it's not going to even let you leave. See, I tried to hit another page. It's not going to let you leave. So make sure you always start and stop everything uh, just to keep things congruent. Now, once we go to the home page, you're going to see that last HRV test show up on the front screen on that first widget. And it's going to show you a trend. So I went down. My morning readiness was 5.5 .5 there, if you can see. Then it went down to 4.3. And at the time of doing this video, it's 3.2. So yeah, that was the health mode. So now we're gonna take a look at the activity mode. So this is the second to last tab on the right. I'm gonna go into there and simply hit start. You know, what you're gonna see is it's gonna measure your distance, your MET, uh, the time elapsed your workout or your exercise or your activity and obviously your BPM and your SPO2. So once you hit start, you get a list of activities which we are updating uh, usually, you know, fairly regularly. And the list is small right now, but um, there is an update that will have a little bit more activities there. So let's say I want to go play a round of golf. So we hit start. I got to get my device here. Sorry. And I'll just go through, I'll just fast forward through a little bit of a workout. So I just uh, stopped the activity. Now, if we go back into the home screen and you go, you look at the latest workout widget, that's what I just did. Uh, it'll show you your activity intensity. That's your MET. I really didn't move, so that's why it's a one. Average heart rate and your max heart rate. And we'll go into uh, the history in a little bit. So the last two modes that we're going to discuss is the quick scan. Really not a lot to say here. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just hit start, wait for your stats to pop up. And that's about it. And then finally is the sleep mode. Pretty much the same thing. So you hit start. It's uh, it's going to start. You're not going to see you're not really going to see anything because um, you know, it's all doing it, doing its work in the background. So, and then you're going to be able to, you know, that's just like two minutes right there. I wish I had uh, other information here on the front page, but I use a different device for the sleep analysis. So I don't have any history there. And those are all the modes. Okay. So now to probably my favorite part of the app, this is the health score history, the heart rate variability history on the IO health app, uh, right here on the first widget. You hit details. So first thing you're going to see is today. So this is your HRV history for the day. So this is kind of like your daily kind of quick view of your HRV throughout the day from morning to midnight. And you can change. You can go yesterday, June 2nd, and so forth. See it there. Uh, along with that HRV history, you have independent you know, individual ECG. So if, you know, 
this is great if you have a caregiver or a doctor or somebody that's looking at your medical info uh, you know they have this you can zoom in and out and you can take a look at live EKG here very convenient so this is for different time the, the, this is just throughout the video what I've recorded and if you go into week this is a further breakdown so as we discussed in the pre in the previous uh, section the events this is breaking it down into all of those events when you record HRV so it makes it really convenient you can see for each event what your HRV trend is like and this is actually really awesome information so you can see your morning readiness and if I had a little bit more dots here you would be able to see oh you know in where you know which days is my morning readiness higher or lower because typically morning readiness is always going to be your peak and it's just downhill from that just kidding but HRV's sense yes and then you'll be able to see you know uh, before work and after work and after your exercises how your HRV is responding uh, after food that's the one we took today I put pasta and yeah you can even track how different foods will affect you you know you can see what I ate throughout the week uh, here's before bed you know how stressful was the day what's the HRV like after alcohol you know maybe which types of alcohol I'm drinking let's say I'm drinking every day right God bless and I have, you know, a martini on Sunday, I have a beer on Monday, I have some whiskey on Tuesday, and it's given me different HRVs. Maybe something to watch for. You know, after medication, that's a big one, because, you know, a lot of times we don't really feel what's going on with us after medication. A lot of times, you know, oh, we feel much better with it. But what is it actually doing uh, to our autonomic nervous system? So, you know, that could be a, that could be a big one as well. And the month, that is something that is coming soon. So there's a surprise there. So stay tuned for that. So now we're going to take a look at the activity history in the IO Health app. We recorded in a, uh, in a workout earlier. So let's take a look. We go into details on that second widget. There you have it. You see the golf. I did some cycling the other day actually on this phone just so I can show you guys. We look at golf. You open this up and you can see your stats. So it's very convenient. The activity history actually keeps the data for 30 days and it'll restart at the end of the month. So, you know, very convenient way to take a look at all of your activities. And last but not least, we're gonna take a look at the sleep history and pretty much the same layout as most of the other stuff on the app. You'll see your sleep activity. There should be more detail, but I only recorded it for, you know, five seconds. It's going to give you a list of, uh, you know, the six levels of sleep that we have. We've added another one, and it's just going to give you a rundown of your overall sleep. Thanks for tuning into the video. If you guys like what you saw, go check out some of our other videos if you want. If you don't, 